What's going on everyone? My name is Chad, here with Green Light Life. So, I've got some really exciting news. First of all, I bought one of my dream cameras. I finally, finally put up the money for a RED. So this one here is the Scarlet W with the Dragon sensor. So this is kind of like uh, their, their step above the entry level. So it's not like their highest end or anything like that, but it's uh, you know it's been a long time goal of mine to own a RED. I've shot a ton on RED's, but usually just renting them. So it's really cool to have my own. Um, now the one thing that's you kind of have to realize about RED, and, and when you're first getting into RED, it seems ridiculous, is that uh, this here is what they call their brain. So this is just the computer. There's no possible way to film with this thing. You have to buy a ton of accessories in order to make this thing usable. Um, so yeah, so it's not like a DSLR. You know, you buy a DSLR body, you throw a lens on it, you're ready to shoot. This is just the sensor, okay? So uh, you need to buy something in order to mount the lens onto, in order to put power into, in order to control the thing. Like you can't do any of that with just this. Uh, so I wanna show you what accessories you need in order to get actually started with a red brain. To kind of take the uh, mystery out of it because even when I was ordering this, I mean, I've shot on red a million times, but even when I was ordering this, I wasn't quite sure everything I needed in order to get a usable camera. Uh, I'll also tell you prices, not to you know flex or anything on it, but just to tell you, uh, so you have an idea. You know, If you're looking to get into a, a system like this, you can kind of have an idea of how much everything runs. Uh, spoiler alert, it's ridiculous amount. It's dumb how expensive these accessories are. Um, but it's kind of the game you play. You get into a red and everything's kind of proprietary, red brand, and you have to buy their stuff in order to use their cameras. It's a slippery slope. But anyways, let's get into it. This, as I mentioned, is the Scarlet W Brain with the Dragon 5K sensor in it. Uh, on this thing, you do have a, a point to uh, mount media, what they call their SSD, their red magazine, uh, their mini mags with this, with this setup. So that goes here, and that's really all that this thing can do right now. So the first thing we need to do is mount a lens on here. You can see right here, this is uh, sort of the, the, the sensor cover. So we need to remove that and then we need to put on a mount. Now for me, I've got a lot of Canon mounts. So I went ahead and I ordered the red Canon lens mount. This is our lens mount. Uh, this thing's got a mount up to the camera. So let's go ahead and take off that cover. I haven't done this by the way. So this is all just first time me doing it. Okay, you can see in there, there is your sensor and you've got the OLPF along the outside that is interchangeable. We're gonna take the Canon mount. They have a PL mount. I wanna say they have maybe a Nikon mount, I'm not sure, but they definitely have Canon and PL. That's the two most popular. So we just throw that directly on there and then it does come with a little like Torx, uh, like Allen wrench kind of thing. Now I promised to, to talk about prices on these. So this mount is the, I think there's an aluminum and a titanium mount. Uh, the aluminum mount, which I got is $700, I wanna say. So uh, the titanium one's like three grand or something. It's insane. Um, but yeah, so just to be able to mount a lens on the brain, you're looking at 700 bucks to start out with. Okay, and so now you can see we have got a mount on there. You can unscrew this and then attach any normal Canon EF lens. Uh, we need a way to control this thing. We need a way, number one, to see what we're filming, and number two, to control our settings, our exposure and stuff like that. So uh, I got the Red Touch 4.7 LCD. So it's a little LCD screen that goes on top. This is their cheapest one. This is their smallest one that was, I wanna say like, I think it's 1425. So just under $1,500 for this thing. Uh, you can see it's a 4.7 inch monitor, mounts directly to this now. This is one of the DSMC2 bodies, meaning there's no cables. It's really nice about this. But on top of this body, you can see uh, there's like some receiver pins in there, and then there's some receiver pins here. So you mount those directly on top of each other, uh, and it completely eliminates the need for cables, which is super, super nice. So again, it comes with its own little Torx driver here. And there's two screws. So this monitor allows you to control the brain as well as obviously see what you're filming. Um, next up, you need media, right? You need to be able to uh, record to something. So I picked up a 240 gig, what they call their mini mags. So it's just this guy right here. It's essentially like an SSD from my understanding, um, but it's obviously proprietarily red. So, 
has this little uh, opening for media on the side. Throw that in just like that. And uh, that's what you're filming on. Now, 240 gig, they also have 120 gig, um, 512, and then like a terabyte or something. Um, to the 240 gig card that I got was $1,250 ridiculous as i said um i think the 120 was like 800 or something so it just made sense to go with the 240 uh but you know one card never works like once you get done filling this up you need to transfer it you need to be able to put another card in to keep filming so eventually i'm gonna have to get another card but i just couldn't afford it right now so um that's the card. Now, if you want to be able to read that card because it is proprietary and you want to get it onto your computer, you need their red station for the red mini mag. Uh, essentially a card reader, right? Here is the red mini mag reader. Uh, it is a 3.1 USB. So you've got USB-C to USB-C and you've also got a USB-C to USB 3.1. And yeah, that's really all there is to this thing. I think this was about 200 bucks. So as I mentioned, if you want to be able to read the footage you just captured, you need to pay another $200. Next up, um, we've got a way to film, we've got a lens, we've got a way to control it, we've got something to record too. Now we need to figure out a way to power this brain because it doesn't have a normal battery. So we had to pick up the DSM-2 V-Lock IO Expander. And that is this guy right here. Now you can get just a V-mount, so it doesn't have this side portion with like the SDI and HDMI and sound and stuff like that. If you get just this, I wanna say it's about $750 uh, to get this entire thing, which is ridiculous. As I mentioned, all it's got here is, is power, it's got SDI, it's got HDMI, it's got sound inputs, it's got a USB, uh, time code sync, stuff like that. But this thing is running $1,900. Ouch, that hurt. So <laughs> uh, on the back here, we've got some pins that once again line up with some ports there. So completely eliminates the need for cables. I love that about it. So it looks like we just kind of scoot this thing on up. And then we just need to tighten down the uh, the Torx bolts again. But this one doesn't come with its own wrench. That's not going anywhere, that's just spinning. Oh, you gotta really push that thing in, don't you? That's what that thing is looking like on the back there. Um, and that's, once again, allowing you to put something like, this V-mount battery can now go on the back of it just like that. Um, you can also, uh, power directly with like AC power. So I've got the power cords right over here. Now we've got two more accessories. You can honestly film just like this if you wanted. You now have power, you have a lens mount, you have a media mount, and you have a way to control the system. So you could be off to the races right now. The rest are just gonna be a little bit extra because I wanted them. So the first thing is, ugh, is their side handle. Now, this side handle just gives you another extra spot to hold on to the camera. It also has a couple, it's got a dial, a couple buttons on the back here, some uh, quick access shortcut buttons, as well as a record button up here. Uh, so for the use of functionality, for the sake of functionality, I went ahead and picked this up. Um, this handle is about $1,000. I think it was 950 bucks. So. so I'm just gonna take this side plate off and it's too small. Are you serious? So this thing didn't come with one, huh? Okay, so this side handle, these Torx nuts are, are not the same size as all the rest we've been using. And this thing does not look like it came with a wrench. That's ridiculous. Okay, uh, thank goodness I had this little precision screwdriver set in my garage. So it is a T10 Torx if you're, uh, if you're curious. There is the uh, opening without that, and then this just has uh, a little port that goes in to that opening. So we go just like that. Now we have a handle. It gives us a little bit uh, more functionality in terms of holding the thing, as well as a couple more buttons to be able to access things within the menu and stuff like that easier. Now, the very last thing is a top handle. You know, a lot of times you want to do low down shots, tracking with feet or something like that. It's nice to have this. Um, now, Red has two top handles. They have this universal top handle, which is just 
like a cheap little piece of metal that they charge $150 for, or there's like their big proper one with like the red rubber rubberized grip and stuff like that one. That one's like $550, I want to say. Uh, so in you know, I wanted to save some money, so I went with this the smaller one. Uh, so yeah, now I'm just gonna go ahead and mount this. You can see on top there are a bunch of just quarter twenty uh, spots everywhere. If you had the more expensive red handle, uh, that would go right over these these brass inputs, so that because it has another like record button. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna put these, put this just right over that. Um, and this just looks like a normal gigantic Allen wrench. Wait, why? And it is a 7 16 That's always just a good size to have in your camera toolkit. Okay, so there we have it. This thing is a fully functioning red body now. We have a way to mount the lens. We have some media and a media reader. We have somewhere to power the camera and we have uh, somewhere to see what we're filming and control the body with. Um, so yeah, that's, a, that's the setup. I'm gonna throw a battery on here and a lens so you can see what it looks like uh, as a fully functioning unit. Uh, we've got a 24 to 105 L lens on there. We've got a V mount. One thing I have seen, by the way, with the bigger uh, handle here, I've seen that it goes out to about here making it impossible to mount and unmount your V-mount. So keep that in mind. I've seen people have to take it off every time they want to change a battery, which is a huge pain in the butt. Um, but yeah, altogether, this is a, a pretty slick little run and gun setup. Obviously you can build this thing out as much as you want, throw on rails, a map box, follow focus, uh, cables everywhere, transmitters, whatever you want to do. But for me, I'm going to be using this thing just like this for the most part. You know, I want to stay really light, really nimble. Um, yeah. So. All in all, the brain I got used for about $9,000. Uh, the brain brand new right now is 12,500, I believe. Um, all the accessories together, I told you the prices, uh, like I wanna say 6,500-ish. Uh, so if you were to buy this brand new, you're looking at about 19,500, is that right? But yeah, it's, it's one of those things, you know, Red has a name for a reason. Uh, they're one of the biggest names in the industry and I feel extremely fortunate, excited, stoked to have worked my way to a point where I can afford one. Um, I hope that this video was helpful for some of you who are out there looking at a Red package and kind of want to get an idea of how much you need to save up, what kind of accessories you need in addition to just the brain. So um, I will be doing a review on this thing. I'll compare it to all the cameras I currently have so you can get an idea if it's worth it for you or not. If it makes sense. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time on Greenlight Life.